All right. I'm a little exhausted today, but we got to check this experiment with the Bokashi brand. So, to recap, we got some Bokashi brand from BLH Farm here in Missouri. Uh, Matt gave that to us, and we're doing some playing. And so we used some of our wheat bran, we used some of this straight, and then we took some of this and made our own Bokashi bran with the bran that we have here. So, today we're going to weigh everything out. So we're going to start with regular bran from here. A little less meal worms. Started with 300 grams of worms in each tray and 100 grams of substrate. All right, so mealworm, our uh, Midwest mealworm brand, just straight brand, the stuff we always use. We are at 315, so they've gained 15 grams of weight. And we press. We need that. Brass is at 58 grams. So 58 grams of that. And I'm going to save all this brass so we can do some testing. If we find a test that we want to see the uh, nutrient and bioavailability out of this. Alright, and we will label this brand. Okay. Alright, let's do our BLH Bokashi brand. Uh, what we noticed last time was the Bokashi, uh, the mealworms in the Bokashi brand didn't have any pupa. But this time that's not the case. So this time there are a couple pupa. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Four, looks like four there, and we'll count the pupa in the other one too, so I don't think that the Vokashi is having any impact on pupation, like I was, like we saw happening with the last one. Alright, so this is this LH Vokashi. All right, BLH Bokashi is at 309, 309 grams. So they've only gone, gone up nine grams. And our brass, it's darker, looks like. We'll compare that in a moment. So brass, we are at 46 grams. Okay. Let me continue for that. Bokashi brand. Uh, I see three pupa. Double check to me. Yeah, I think we're three. or the press there is darker as well. No. Three twelve uh, three twelve. Okay. Press. That's 
like the last one. Let's see. 34 grams. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. Okay, 34 grams. Now this is 24 hours after the test started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give those mealworms another couple days to get all of the frass out of their system. And they're not going to add any bran or anything like that. So this is Midwest Mealworms. Alright, so, I'll take two of these. Yeah, it's noticeably darker, the, the Bokashi brand. Same as the first test, so that's interesting. So let's take a look at that together. So there's the regular brand. Here's the BLH Bokashi brand for us and the Midwest Mealworms Bokashi brand for us. So definitely like noticeably lighter in color. So that's pretty interesting. I wonder why that is. But we'll keep gathering the data here. Get that on there without dropping and messing everything up. There we go. Alright, so we've got our BLH brand here. And this real one is a copy brand and our regular brand. So we will keep these and then we'll let these guys continue uh, in their trays. And then I'll come back in a couple days and we'll do the same thing. I'll sift any of the brass out that may still be there. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot, uh, but then we'll gather all the data, take a look at it. See where we go from there. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching.